lock on your RV with AP prop. Our lock has been giving us issues and the spring inside is allowing it going down the road to open the door. Not safe. On this door lock, you're going to have two screws to remove right here on the actual latch and lever arm. Once you remove those, you'll go ahead and remove two screws that are on the back side of the actual arm. I'll go ahead and get those removed. Once your knob is free, you'll just grab the back side of the handle and pull it off. The handle itself is slid into the door. You'll just remove it backwards and slide it out. Springs on the door lock. One here, one here. That is what holds pressure on your door handle to remain closed. Once they start getting weak, it'll just allow your handle to move around, causing the door to open on its own while moving down the road. I like this model for the fact that I can walk up to my camper on any day, lock it, and unlock it with a keypad. That keypad, you can put your own code in so no one else knows it, or you can give someone access to your camper one time by changing that code and then coming back and changing it so you yourself only have it. Now that we have the assembly ready to get reinstalled, all you're going to do is go in from the back side, put it through the two holes where the pins on the front side lock in place, Come around and you'll reinstall your two screws. Now that your electrical is hooked up, we're going to set the handle in place. You want to keep the latch, the act, this handle flat so it'll go in behind the bar. Install your four screws that hold the inner and outer handle together. good tip here. Don't use a power tool to start these. If you strip out the handle, you're just going to make life miserable trying to repair it. Checker plate with this design, we didn't have the deadbolt before, so it was not accessible to just put in. I did have to take away about half an inch of material on the top side, and then I went ahead and beveled the edge to make it smooth to where the new striker plate would fit in. I'll get it in there. Now we have our striker plate in place. This is where I would adjust that if anything is off. With this latch assembly, when you first install it, in order to set your code, you're going to hold down the 3-4 button, as well as the lock and the products button at the bottom that says BP. You'll hold those two. You'll get three chirps, a blue light will flash, then you set your four-digit code. Thanks so much for joining us today. As always, Soul RV encourages you to safely get out and live and explore the world around you. If you'd like to check out our show notes from today's episode, just go over to soulrv.com and click underneath podcast. And make sure you follow us on social media and be sure to hit that subscribe button below.